Hello and welcome to my second tutorial about Spring Security. In previous tutorial I'll show you I shown you what is minimal configuration for implementation of Spring Security in your Java application. And in this new tutorial I'll show you how to encode your password in some uh, sequence of characters. As you may see here in our security context XML file, we have a single user called with uh, username admin, password admin, and uh, role admin authority. And as you may see, our password is in its uh, understandable state. So this is very, very bad practice. We should use at least, well, any, uh, any hashing algorithm to hash uh, our passwords. Anything is better than leave it like this. But uh, in this case, I'll use one of the best hashing algorithms, which is bcrypt. So, how to actually encode this password to sequence of ununderstandable characters? So, we'll create a new class here in our source test Java folder called my encoder. Let's also make main method. And let's create a new instance of bcrypt password encoder. And let's call it encoder. Okay. Here as a constructor argument I can pass strength of my hashed password. And uh, recommended value is 12 or more. I'll pass 12. This is strength or cost factor. So I'll system out, call system out, and here I'll call from encoder encode method. And I'll pass my password here, which is admin. Now I'll run this. And I got my uh, encoded password. Here. Now I'll copy this value and I'll paste it instead of my current password. Now we have this sequence of non-understandable characters. Okay, But also we have to tell to our Spring Security what uh, hashing algorithm we are using. And for that I'll go to my server context and define new bin. called with id equals encoder and class will be org spring framework security uh, crypto bcrypt and bcrypt password encoder and I'll also I'll also call beans constructor arc and pass value of 12. Okay, now let's jump back in our security context and let's import all spring, uh, all uh, spring definitions, all bin definitions from our server context XML file by using beans import resources servlet context XML. Okay, and here I'll provide my password encoder, which will reference to encoder. Okay, now let's run our uh, web application again on Tonka server. Okay, now let's type admin private page and it will prompt us to log in. And I'll pass admin admin. And we logged in successfully, which means that our password encoder actually works. So that should be it for this tutorial. See you next time.